In the previous lecture, we had discussion on maximum power transfer theorem for DC circuits and uh, there we saw that the maximum power will be transferred to the load resistance when the value of load resistance is equal to the Thevenin's equivalent resistance of the network. Now in this presentation, we are going to solve our problem number one on maximum power transfer theorem. In this problem, we are required to find the value of RL, the load resistance, for which the maximum power will be transferred to it. And we know the maximum power will be transferred to the load resistance when the load resistance is equal to the Thevenin's equivalent resistance of the network. So to find out value of RL for which power is maximum, we will find out RTH of this network. Once we have RTH, we will have our answer. And we already know how to find out RTH. To find out RTH, we need to do two modifications in our network. Modification number one is removing the load resistance, open circuiting the two terminals and the resistance between the two terminals seen from this side will be our Thevenin's equivalent resistance RTH. Modification number one is this. Moving on to modification number two. In this, we are required to turn off all the independent sources present in the network. And in this network, we have only one independent source present and we will turn it off by replacing it with a short circuit. So we are all set to find out RTH. To find out RTH, we need to find out the equivalent resistance between the two terminals. And before I explain you how to find out this resistance, I want you to pause this video and try to find out the resistance on your own. I hope you are done. Now we will understand how to find out the resistance. We will first do some markings in this network to understand the combinations we have in a better way. I will say this terminal is terminal A, this terminal is terminal B. This will make this node node A, this node node B. This point, this point, this point will have the same potential and therefore this will be node A as well. Now we are left with this node and I will call it C. After this, we are going to rearrange this network from the scratch. I will say this is node A, this is node B and this is node C. Between A and B, we have 6 ohms resistor. Between A and B, we have 6 ohms resistor. So we are done with this resistor. Now between A and C, we have 4 ohms resistor. Between A and C, we have 4 ohms resistor. And between C and B, we have 1 ohm resistor. Between C and B, we have 1 ohm resistor. Between C and A, we have 4 ohms resistor. Between C and A, we have 4 ohms resistor. So in this way, we are done with all the resistors present. Now we will find out resistance between A and B. We will find out equivalent resistance between A and B, which is RTH. It is equal to RTH. You can see we have these two resistors in parallel. So 4 is in parallel with 4. And then this combination is in series with 1 ohm resistor. So I will add 1. And after this, this combination is in parallel with 6 ohms resistor. 4 in parallel with 4 will give us 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have 3 in parallel with 6. So RTH is equal to 3 in parallel with 6, which we can write. 3 multiplied to 6 divided by 3 plus 6. So RTH 
is equal to 18 divided by 9. So we finally have RTH equal to 2 ohms. And therefore, for maximum power, RL, RL should be equal to RTH, which is 2 ohms. This is our answer.